This meeting is being recorded. Good evening, everyone. <clears throat> Am I audible and visible? Please confirm in the comment section. Please confirm the audio and video. Well, <clears throat> so I assume the uh, people who are watching this session right now have applied for MyCat and um, they want to go into this college, MyCat. It's the mecca of marketing, that is what they say. <clears throat> so people who are interested in branding, advertisement, all that kind of creative stuff. So this is very much helpful for them. Shahid, uh, if not applied and you're not appearing for my cat, still you can you can attend the session. Gyan kahin se bhi mile nahi lena chahiye, kahin na kahin kaam aayi jayega, isn't it? <coughs> so okay, so we are going to do that today. The agenda of today's class is first we'll discuss the my cat pattern. After that we'll be discussing C. <coughs> the certain things which you guys already know because you prepare for cat already for other exams. Like verbal ability or quantitative aptitude. So all that thing, all those things are already known to you. The thing is, psychometric is something which is new, descriptive is something which is new for you, and so is divergent and convergent reasoning. General awareness is of course GK. So today we will be discussing these three topics. With some sample questions, we'll be solving some sample questions. This is going to be very interesting. A very creativity filled class. This is what it's going to be. By the way, for psychometric test and descriptive test, there is no negative marking. And the time given is 30 minutes. 150 questions in 30 minutes. Now you'll be thinking that how would I do so many questions? But the questions are generally <clears throat> ethics based. So it's like, um, Agree, you agree to something or not, you disagree to something or not. So it's agree, disagree, strongly agree, strongly disagree, all that kind of things, which a lot of you must have um, <clears throat> voted on some polls on YouTube or on any app that you use. You, you might be using Blinkit or Zomato. So all those apps when you use, they always give you a kind of a, a poll in which they ask you, would you recommend this to your family and friends? very likely least likely remember that you must have seen those things so 30 minutes for 150 questions the time is a lot by the way <clears throat> here they will start judging how well do you think in terms of ethics logic and uh, responsibilities so that is why the time is less and the questions are more so you won't be getting a lot of time to think upon what is the exact um, <clears throat> agreeable trait? What is it that the mica wants from you? So I hope you do understand, right? Tell me in the comments, make it interactive. Descriptive test, here what happens, you will be given some pictures, four to five pictures. And through those pictures, you have to create a story. So when we solve the example, you'll be able to understand it really well. Okay. So apart from that, these sections 
there they have 0 0.25 marks for every wrong answer for the here were 80 minutes and overall 80 questions in totality cool so let's start with convergent and divergent thinking see so this is the type of question that Micah generally asks you can see the question clues and then you can see the options now you will realize that what has to be done over here so basically these four words if you read these four words then if these four words comply or belong to or in the same sync with any of these five options you're going to mark that option to be correct is that clear understood so tell me what can be the answer if the clues are stand support origin bottom I'll give you I'll give you an example so let's say in the question queues we have apple of my eyes it has apple cider vinegar it has keeps a doctor away these can be clues and then there will be five options in which it can be or, or or we can say don't compare apples with oranges so you'll be given some options it can be vinegar it can be apple it can be orange this is a basic example very simple one so what has the correct answer here in this case the answer will automatically be apple right isn't it I change the ink because I think it's not visible. So automatically, the option which says apple will be the correct answer. Yes or no? I hope you get that. People on YouTube, you also can comment. Right. So tell me about this question. What has to be the answer? What can be the answer? Be quick. Stand, support, origin, bottom. can be the answer uh, Satyam says heart okay Satyam tell me why do you think heart is the correct answer try to explain others can also try is this interesting hey Amit I am good how are you Is definitely interesting so tell me in the comments Satyam you think heart is correct answer why do you think heart is correct and others who think something else is correct tell me their logic as well From bottom of my heart, heart supports the organs, origin of blood for pumping, stands are put near heart for flow of blood smoothly. Okay, that is what Satyam says. Bottom of my heart, good example, support to other organs, heart, okay. Origin of blood for pump, this is something which is a bit off. And be stands are put near heart for flow of blood smoothly which stands are put near heart try further come on amit anand 
what do you think will be the correct answer here Be quick, guys. What happened? Base will be better answer. Base will be better answer. Here we have something called base stand, support base, people say what's a support base, base and origin are almost synonymous and base also means, so base has got different term, <coughs> and different meanings, base can be something which is the bottom, you know, something which is at the lower level, we call it base. Like we have a tar, this is the top, and this is the base. So base would of course be better answer. Base is the correct answer over here. Cool. Acha Satyam is saying base music instrument. No Satyam, that is not that is called pronounced as base, but the spelling is B A S S. Okay, in music. So <laughs> base of course correct answer, but base. In music is B A S S. Cool. Okay. <clears throat> now, let us look at some more questions. Here we have a question which we have. There is a statement followed by two assumptions, which may or may not contain data that is presupposed by the statement. Choose the most appropriate options. Option. So uh, the statement says, archaeological excavations have to be done only by trained professionals. Since we cannot afford to lose any opportunity of knowing our ancestors better. So there are two assumptions. One is in order to know our ancestors better, we must identify sites where they lived and dig those sites. All right. Second assumption is the objects our ancestors used, like pots and earthen mirror, are, are, are only means of knowing our ancestors. So we have two assumptions. Statement is given in front of us, and we have five options to choose from. The first option is the statement presupposes either assumption one or assumption two. Presuppose, मतलब you understand that कि कोई चीज पहले से ही मान लिया है. Okay. So when we say something, we all, always have some kind of knowledge, some kind of supposition we have. For example, if I say <clears throat> thank you, if you give me something, then my presupposition is but I have been told that we need to reciprocate, you know, anything which is physical or mental or philosophical. So if you're giving me a physical gift, I would have to at least verbally, you know, verbally give something that is a gratitude. In terms of words, the word is thankfulness. Thank you. Is that clear? So that is what presupposition means. We always suppose something. So when they say, um, greet your elders with respect so what does that mean that there is a supposition that if you greet the elders with respect they will share their experiences and knowledge and wisdom that they have so <clears throat> we need to understand this and when somebody must have said this the statement then what he must have he or she must have assumed that is what we have to understand so <clears throat> all those things we have to talk about. Vishal says option C. Hey Ankur, how are you? Vishal thinks the statement presupposes only assumption one. Also tell me the logic behind your answers. Tavik, Shahid, Satyam, Sunit. Saman, Harshavardhan, Supriya, Shubham, Amit, Ankur, and Vishal.
share your answers and also the logic. And make it quick, make it quick, please. Is pots and earthenware may not be the only means, only is far fetched. So, Vishal says the problem is with this word only, and because of this, Vishal is not choosing assumption 2, right? Vishal, okay, so we have some more uh, answers over here. Satyam says, same thing, okay. It presupposes one as we need knowledge of places where to excavate and how to do it because there are different things as currency and infrastructure ruins which can also tell us a lot. For example, Indus Valley excavation. Very good. Nice. Wait. Okay, tell me something. The word here only by trained professionals. Is it a useful word? Yes or no? From this trained professionals would better identify the exact sites. Of course, cool. Very good. So C is correct. Now you must be realizing that this kind of reasoning is something which is what we are born with or I might say that we <clears throat> get to know these things by normal wisdom, by normal conversation and it is also acquired by means of a better living <clears throat> in, in a living in a society in which we can discuss things. There is ethical and moral dialogue happening so we know these things automatically. It's not a difficult task. One more. Statements are, so here considering the two given statements to be true, like we have to consider both are true, identify the conclusions that follow logically beyond any reasonable doubt from the information given in the statements and choose the most appropriate options. Option. So the first statement is, if I go to the market or to the mall, then I will not go swimming. Two, the mall was so crowded that I did not dare to step in. Conclusions. First is I have either done my shopping at the market or gone swimming. Second, if the market is also crowded, then I'll have I'll have gone swimming. So tell me here. Vishal, are you preparing for my cat? Some say says one conclusion, two is not necessarily true. Conclusion one is true because only two options to choose from. Conclusion two is not necessarily true. That's what Shimon says. Okay. Gaurav says only two follows. Wow. <laughs> Gaurav, tell me the logic. Hmm. 
So there are two different answers. Well, others, what do you think? Okay, <clears throat> let's understand this. There's a person. He has got two things to be done, either of two. One is shopping and other is swimming. All right. But shopping can be done in two ways, either by going to mall or to market. So in a way, it looks like we have we have two statements, but there are three statements. Yes or no? Is that right? And Vishal says, uh, Vishal says the option A, B. I don't know your name. He says only one follows. Vishal Karagi, either one or two follows. Okay, cool. Satyam says, person rejected mall because of crowds, so may reject market as well for same. But as he or she has already traveled to market or mall, so we won't go to swimming as well. Okay. All right. Tell me something, the chart that I have made, a mental chart. <clears throat> can I say that there are three options? In a way, we can say there are three options, not just two. Right? We can say three options are there. Gaurav, A.B. and Vishal, what do you think? Shubham, Shahid, Supriya. But then, yahan pe, <laughs> jo maine mental map banaya hai, ye wo map hai jo aap log soch rahe ho. And that is why you are marking the answers wrong. This is not the correct map. I'll tell you why. See, in the statements, he is talking about going to the market or to the mall, but he's not talking about shopping. The so shopping is actually wrong. Shopping hai hi nahi. Do you get that? And when you go to the market or to the mall, you don't, do not necessarily shop. Window shopping, you go to the window, 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 you go to the Understood? How many of you actually go to mall for shopping? Like always, not really. Right Satyam? And that is why Vishal, full marks to you, Vishal is <clears throat> totally right or wrong. <laughs> See, the shopping ki baat khadam hongi, that is why conclusion one will not follow. Hoga hai Clear? Coming to segment two. If the market is also crowded, then I will have one swimming. Mall was crowded, that is true. He did not step in. The market is also crowded, then I will have gone swimming. Ye baat bilkul sahi ho gai hai. Ki mall wala to cancel hoi chuka tha. That was the truth from the statement. Market is from the conclusion. This is also, this is also <coughs> crowded, they have gone swimming. Swimming true ho jayega. So conclusion two follows. Yes or no? Like this is what Gaurav says. I am playing with you. Acha. 
यहां पे क्या बोल रहा है मार्केट जाऊं या मॉल जाऊं तो स्विमिंग नहीं जाऊंगा कहीं एक चला गया तो स्विमिंग जाऊंगा एक बात सोचो द मॉल वॉज क्राउडेड डिड नॉट स्टेप इन दैट इज ओके मार्केट इज क्राउडेड डिड नॉट स्टेप इन दैट इज ऑल्सो ओके बट ही एक्चुअली वेंट टू दी मार्केट राइट एंटर करना जरूरी है ही नहीं अकाउंट डेटा दैट आई हैव फ्रॉम द स्टेटमेंट इट्स नॉट नेस दैट आई शुड एंटर दी मॉल ऑफ दी मार्केट दैट इज वाई इवन सेकेंड डज नॉट फॉलो क्लियर द करेक्ट आंसर इज नीजर कंक्लूजन वन नॉर टू फॉलोज दैट इज राइट विशाल ऑप्शन डी नीजर फॉलोज आई थिंक समन से दैट हू इज इट सॉबिक The person went to the mall. It doesn't matter if he or she entered or not. Exactly. So, big full marks to you. The correct answer is option D. This is interesting, isn't it? A new kind of reasoning. This is which we have not done in other other exams. Understood, everyone? So, I gave you three different lines of thought. One thought was according to you. The second thought was. something which can confuse you the third thought is the reality which i feel now everyone understands so the moment you go to solve these kind of questions you should be very much <coughs> focusing on the keywords go ki baat kar raha hai shopping ki baat nahi kar raha entering ki baat bhi nahi kar raha clear all the keywords are very much very 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 necessary have you watched uh, <clears throat> lawyers talking when the lawyers talk or when they write they try tend to write each and every keyword in detail even the constitution of india it's so detailed some people think that why so many words are there so many words are written for the simple reason that not nobody should confuse about anything for the lack of knowledge understood now coming to <clears throat> the next one statements statements are like this none of the big brands have an online presence yet is it true man lenge hum second those brands having an online presence offer huge discounts isko bhi hum true man lenge theek so conclusion sir big brands only have physical stores in which they do not offer huge discounts Second, if a brand is offering a huge discount, it must be having an online presence. So tell me, going to very interesting exercise now. Others, okay, okay, I'll check your message. How many of you have got calls from I am Lucknow, Koi Kod, or Ahmedabad? Anyone? Vishal, you have got a call from Lucknow? Someone has from I M K. Very good, Shubham. Have you filled that uh, P I request form? <clears throat> Those who have got the calls. should fill the pi request form so that we can actually start interviewing you satyam has i am lucknow sm only sustainable management okay i am koi code phase 1 i am vishakhapatnam phase 1 cool yeah fill fill the form this is very much important so here sobik says big brands not having online presence doesn't mean they cannot offer huge discounts okay sobik so what is the answer sobik says neither follows okay so priya also thinks the same 
Vishal, Gaurav, Amit, what about you guys? Vishal, the things D. Vishal now says A. Otherwise, there is a word no, that is why both are wrong. Okay, okay, okay. So, the first statement is big brands do not have online presence. So, we can assure that big brands have an offline presence. That is what we understand. They have physical stores. This is completely true. So, this part of the second question is true. Next part, we have two parts, right? One is having a physical store, other is offering huge discounts. Well, coming to second one, those brands having an online presence offer huge discounts. Okay. So the brands which have online presence offer huge discounts. That doesn't mean that the brands which do not have an online presence cannot offer you discount that is why one is completely wrong conclusion one is completely wrong okay second if a brand is offering a huge discount it must be having an online presence can we derive this information we can deduce only one information what is that that big brands only have physical stores. Only this part is correct, rest, nothing can be deduced. That is why correct answer is neither one <clears throat> nor two follows. D is correct. Very good. Next one. A small passage followed by questions. In the past, home heating systems have been operated using different sources of energy, such as wood, electricity, and kerosene. But these are expensive when compared to a more recently developed source, solar energy. Solar energy is an alternative, but its application for heating is limited to a small number of appliances. There is also the difficulty of obtaining solar energy for heating purposes in the winter time when it is most needed and its major resource, the sun, is hardly effective. So option, the question is, solar energy is hardly available in the winter. True, false or can't say. Other says cannot say. Satyam says cannot say as per geography's definition of winter changes. Okay. Satyam says hardly is a keyword. All right. Not say why Shubham says false, it might be available but not that effective.
Shovik says same thing. Why Shovik? Very good. Shubham. Very good. See, it says what is hardly effective? What is hardly effective? The energy <coughs> that we drive from sun. And the question talks about hardly available. This statement this statement <clears throat> is something which talks about availability, not about the effectiveness. Okay? And hardly, the word hardly makes it negative. Malab ki available nahi hai. Almost nahi hai available. So, whatever we have read here, and not depending on what we know, there's one thing which I think I have talked about a lot during RC sessions, that whatever knowledge you have should not be applied while answering questions from a reading comprehension because right now the only see how do you answer these questions the only knowledge that you have right now is this paragraph nothing else okay solar energy is hardly available in winter tell me in any of the lines have this said or even pointed towards the fact that solar energy is hardly available effect exactly highest rule bola gaya difficulty of obtaining solar energy for heating purposes it for a very specific purpose there is it is difficult okay so this can also confuse you so the correct answer is false that this thing is false according to the passage clear everyone i hope it's clear Same paragraph has another question. The use of solar energy for heating is restricted to a few heating devices. Adarsh, that's what I told you. Because in the passage, Adarsh, let's do this question first. We'll come back to, you know, to the first again. Shal says this statement is true. Shubham says the answer is can, can cannot say. In passage, it is mentioned restricted to small number of appliances, not heating devices. But Shubham, they have mentioned the application for heating, isn't it? When they say, they talk about the appliance which has heating as the application. 
so we can be sure about it now am i clear here okay so when they say when they say application for heating that means they're talking about the heating appliances only okay so they have mentioned it in this way so that you become confused and mark can say the correct answer is true all right shubham says use of heating in appliances doesn't necessarily be same application for heating is limited to a small number of appliances so that means the appliances are used for heating purposes isn't it and it's not use of heating in appliances it's for they have used for the word here is for for heating purposes sorry here for heating is limited application for heating okay so they have twisted the words just to confuse you coming back to the first question in which there's a problem <laughs> sure <laughs> right bit controversial huh? okay the first one other says other things others right other things that it's not given anywhere so we cannot even say that it is false it has to be cannot say that is other things okay others now <clears throat> try to you know yes so when you say solar energy is hardly available in the winter in the winter then talking about its effectiveness effectiveness the sun sun is hardly effective or the talking about the difficulty in obtaining the solar energy would not have made sense that automatically say that solar energy is not is somehow they would have indicated solar energy is not available then it must have been true okay when i say solar energy is not available in the winter then we are confused we will say okay we can't say that if they say solar energy is available in the winter for that also we are not sure the use of the word hardly here hardly makes the statement false hardly is basically trying to qualify the availability hardly is a is an adverb over here and available okay so <clears throat> it is an adverb it is talking about it is saying availability is very less if the availability was less then the passage would not have talked about obtaining the energy or the effectiveness of the energy it would directly said that it is not there you know it is not there obtaining ki baat ko karta hi nahi do you get that that is why we come to conclude that is a false statement okay now comes the psychometric test so mica never gives their question paper never 
but I've tried to <clears throat> get a few questions which look similar to that. And once you solve these questions, you'll automatically come to know that what kind of test they are asking, um, they are going to conduct and what is what is expected from you guys. So you have to mark one by one. When I, when I read the question one, all of you would be marking either one or two or three or four or five. One is lowest in priority. Not at all important. Two means slightly important. Three means moderately important. Four means very important. Five means completely important. So the first statement is, I should take responsibility for myself. Tell me the uh, your answer. Be quick. Satyam says five. Shubham says four. Adarsh says four. Sobik says five. Vishal says five. <laughs> wow. Okay, so Adarsh and Shubham, I want to ask you because you have marked four. You say very important, but not completely important. Why do you think it's not completely important? Like Satyam, Shobik, and Vishal thinks. Shubham says because there might be some exceptional, exceptional situations. Other says it is sometimes based on circumstances. Mm. Cool, nice thinking. What do others think? There is one thing because they won't be giving you negative marks here. They just to judge your personality. Okay. But the person who has made the questions might be having some kind of um, judgment, you know, criteria. Probably this would be a part of judgment during the PI, the personal interview. Right. So as Shubham and others say, said that there can be some exceptional situations or circumstances in which it cannot be completely important makes sense, isn't it? And those who think it's completely important, that also makes make sense. Ek baat to confirm hai. Koi bhi one ya two ya three mark nahi karega. One to the koi nahi three koi kar sakta. <clears throat> so normally, what happens in real life, things are not totally wrong or totally right. They can be some things, certain things, but or, but lot of things are not completely wrong or uh, wrong or completely right. Uh, other says, if I could not complete job because of sickness, I might be taking responsibility, but I, I'm fine. I will take it. Exactly. It also happens that your job is uh, not a, doesn't have sole dependency on you. It can be a team. It can be others, other departments. Isn't it? So taking the complete responsibility for myself has got different, different kind of situations in which this can change. That is why it is important, very important. But completely important me kahi ye na ho jaye ki hum bhi responsibility le lehen jahan pe lene ki zarurat bhi nahi Right Adarsh? That's what you mean? Vishal, you got it? So here the correct answer is I won't say any correct wrong pe hota hi nahi yaha pe but I would have I would have chose very important. I'm not saying that I am the correct judge of it but because <clears throat> I have experience and working, a lot of experience is there. And um, logically speaking, what I just told you, four is the most obvious choice. This is the most, I would say, desirable choice. Okay, coming to the second one. I should take care of my family. Not at all important, slightly important, moderately important, very important, completely important. What about this one? Other says five. That is completely important. Okay. Vishal also says it's five. Cool.
this. Be quick. Shavik says four. Vishal says five. Okay. So Shavik will tell me. Shavik, why four? Satyam also says four. Satyam says because uh, I won't like to make them completely dependent on me. So would that happen? Shivam thinks four because there might be another sibling who can take care of, or maybe my family will be better enough to take care of themselves in a difficult situation when I am required somewhere else. Nice. Bharat says five. Exactly. So whatever Shubham has said makes complete sense. Because there might be another sibling who can take care. Or maybe my family will have a, will be better enough to take care of themselves in difficult situations when I'm required somewhere else. So yeah, it's very important. But there can be instances in which you it's not required that you start taking care. Or probably you won't be able to take care because you might be occupied somewhere. That is a possibility. That is why four is the most desirable choice again. Coming to third, I should aim for spiritual salvation. So that's right. That's what I said. Nothing can be completely true, completely false, except certain things like sun rises in the east. That's also not completely true. It rises in the east because earth rotates from west to east, <laughs> isn't it? And by the way, who will tell me that on which planet sun rises from the west? From that's what I'm saying. Even this is a this looks like a universal fact. The sun rises in the east, but I would say that is because that happens in at our planet. But there is a planet in which the reverse happens. Who will tell me? Satyam, exactly. Venus and Uranus. Very good. Volta whom then? So sometimes even the universally true statements are wrong. And after the era of Albert Einstein, which he talked about general theory of relativity, everything seems to be uh, anything which which was supposed to be universal might not be universal but relative, right? So that is there. <coughs> Very good. Third, I should aim for spiritual salvation. Who is going to tell me that?
everybody says three it's important in life to make balance okay what i feel is i can't stop someone from believing spirituality but i can take decisions for myself where i feel it is important but not completely or ever okay giving it much importance it could be meant as skepticism from duties which we are obliged to somebody may be an atheist and they cannot judge for that so it is as per each person's choice but you chose three very good vishal says three because spiritual salvation is not something which helps us to earn bread but is it possible survival very good vishal naman says i feel my psychometric in my cat one but i gave two rational answers what do no do do i go now with a made up mind that I have not to give my answers true but most desirable ones only uh no that is a difficult question this question in itself is a psychometric test for me <laughs> isn't it namat uh, well i'll tell you what <laughs> see there's nothing wrong or right but namat if you give the answers which you felt were right according to you then there might be there might be a lack of experience or maybe i would say you know <clears throat> a bit of wisdom it happens like you can be intelligent but with experience more experience you become wiser so yes we should go for most desirable ones because the most desirable answers are the most correct answers the thing which a lot of people agree with i mean not the bad things of course dowry system ya wo sab ki baat nahi kar raha main but if 80% people are asking the questions like this or the answer like this then it is the most desirable number of course so <clears throat> do that okay is spiritual related to religion others no not really they are two different things so of course what is right what is wrong nobody knows but three is the most desirable आंसर क्योंकि हो सकता है कि स्पिरिचुअल सेलिब्रेशन चक्कर में आप अपने मेन काम ना करो फॉर एग्जांपल गिव वेरी आई विल गिव वेरी यू नो अ वेरी फेमस एग्जांपल ऑफ दिस एंड व्हेन आई वाज अ किड ऑल ऑफ ऑल ऑफ अस रिस्पेक्ट दैट मैन इज कॉल्ड गौतम बुद्ध आई रिस्पेक्ट हिम अ लॉट सो व्हेन आई वाज अ किड व्हेन आई रीड हिज स्टोरी लाइक ही वाज अ किंग यू नो प्रिंस सिद्धार्थ एंड लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स हैपन अराउंड हिम सो व्हेन ही सॉ द पुअर पीपल ही वुड से ओके people are like this also when he saw someone was ill people are like this also so when he got that kind of salvation he just moved out of his uh, palace and went on to spread knowledge to gain enlightenment right but think about this while doing this somehow somehow he had to um <clears throat> kind of balance between his personal life because he was he got married and he had a son just after the marriage and having a son like i think one or two years he quit his palace and his wife and his son were in a way left alone okay and and that is something so i would say uh, his wife yashodhara i think that's the right name is an unsung hero because she was the one who actually was with his decision of you know going out of the palace and to gain some spiritual enlightenment so that is the case for buddha this must have become completely important okay at that point of time but that was not you know completely desirable right i hope you understand that part three is the most correct answer <laughs> now coming to is it clear everyone what i just said fourth one i should take good care of my body vishal says very important
Vikram says five because we are taught health is wealth from grade five. <laughs> Don't say that in the interview. If there's an interview and you are someone asks you this question. Raman and Vishal thing, it's for. Shubham says, I could have said five, but I'll say four again. There might be biotechnology available to take care of our body with the technology development in progress. Okay. So, Shavik says, four, if body is not well, then how will it help in doing a task? Cool. Other says four. Sometimes it might be need of the time to not think of body, but work. What are you doing? Just like how in Joker movie actor lose weight to perfect the role and to get applause for it. Wow. Brilliant example, Adarsh. Brilliant example. Shavik says, but in some situation, we might not have the option of taking care of my body. Also, Christian Bale did that. Has anybody watched the, what is the movie called? Machinist. Machinist. He was that Christian Bale. He dropped close to 50 kilograms. Naman, it is good to answer all the questions. Probably you would, you would not have answered all. That can also be a reason to fail the test. It can be four if talk, taking good care of body it means it will be in aesthetics. Cool. See, I'll tell you what. When I look at this, option five immediately comes to my mind. But look at the keyword body. They have not mentioned health. You get that? Taking good care of your body can also be pedicure, manicure, massages. You know, those, what do they, you call that? Facials, all that stuff. So because this is uh, not specific body by body, what are they trying to say? That is why, that is why we cannot go for five. We should go for four. If it was health, then five would have been the correct answer. So, the keyword was body. So our mind reads it like acha body care karni hai matlab ki sehat ki care karni hai but no this can also mean and because this can also mean the 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 grooming which we can do that is why we'll go with four cool satyam just said that very good satyam coming to fifth one i should be a good member of my of society I should be a good member of society. I should be a good member of society. Other says respect are the things we crave for, so it is for very important. Okay. Let's be quick. Bharat, Naman, Vishal, Gaurav, Amit. 
शुभम सुप्रिया इन मोस्ट केसेस यस बट सीधी उंगली से घी ना निकले तो टेढ़ी करनी पड़ती है डिपेंडिंग अपॉन रीड ऑफ द बट यू आर नॉट डूइंग एनीथिंग मॉरली रॉन्ग शुभम जो आप बोल रहे हो द एग्जांपल दैट यू आर गिविंग सीधी इंग्लिश से घी ना निकले दैट इज नॉट अबाउट यू नो बीइंग अ बैड मेंबर ऑफ सोसाइटी नो दैट इज समथिंग व्हिच इज एन एक्वायर्ड विजडम right that won't make you bad or good for the society vishal says three naman says three good member of society see being good of society what does it mean society as we know man is a social animal isn't it so <clears throat> society is basically known from individuals so if you are not a good member of society it will automatically create a bad society and you will be to some extent responsible for it being a good member means paying your taxes doing all this all those things so someone said examples are meaning breaking laws littering Lawful things, accepting things, never rebel against society. So five. No, Satyam. If you rebel against society for the <clears throat> wrong things, wrong things. That is not being a bad member of society. It means you are a good member of society only. A good member will contribute. Sometimes rebels are required. Otherwise, Sati Pratha would not have um, would not have been condemned at all. sati pratha or dowry or casteism all those things so i think if you rebel against society for such something which is progressive in nature it's a good thing so being good to society means that you are a person you are a person who is contributing to society in such a way that nothing unlawful happens at the same time the thoughts are progressive you know society progresses with you so it's completely important it's very much important your contribution be it through a rebellion but if it if, if it is going towards a progressive society that's also being good yes that you i got that cool enough no no man society expects to follow violence nahi 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 we bola na progressive so basically a good member would not expect you to follow violence society would never want you to follow follow violence there will be a few people or a group of people one person or a group doesn't create in that society society is like an organism a huge organism in which there are different body parts different organs some organs might be might we not be working properly so in that cases organs are replaced like a machinery let's take machinery for example is the machinery some parts are not doing good so the parts need to be replaced right society expects you to follow violence that society would perish and we have lot of historical examples for that germany okay so <clears throat> some people expecting wrong things from you would be the wrong people not you clear now coming to i should take care of my soul i should take care of my soul what will be the answer over here
Shaman says five. Shubham says, for a moment we can tell, we can skip taking care of our body, but soul is something indispensable. If soul dies, nothing remains. Very good. Because soul would actually, soul is nothing but a collective conscience, isn't it? So it has got ethics. It has got uh, wisdom. Soul is nothing but your collective conscience, isn't it? So all those things which are required for leading a good life are essentially, are essentially the reflection of soul only. That is why, that is why <laughs> taking care of soul is very, very, very important, completely important. We should go with five. Others, I think your, your query is answered automatically. <laughs> if soul means sanity, consciousness, integrity, or from where all my core values come, then yes, so a five. Exactly. It's five. Completely important. Soul also brings logic, isn't it? Logic is nothing. What is logic? Logic is nothing but a repercussion of experiences, acquired experiences the so logic is also it also comes from the soul coming to the next one i should feel good about myself i should feel good about myself this one is very interesting This um, seventh we'll discuss in class. Rest. It's a homework, and I would like you guys to comment on YouTube once you have done this homework. Okay, but what is your answer for this? With the logic, I'll I'll reply to you. Well, because after this we'll be discussing a bit of storytelling as well, the descriptive test. I should feel good about myself. Shubham says, sometimes not feeling good about yourself acts as a motivation to push ourselves a little more and to better ourselves. Underconfidence, self-loathing, lower self-esteem, or one is both are bad. Okay, so this is that. So they say four. Naman and Vishal, what about you? feeling good about oneself has got two different outcomes one you feel good about yourself you will be confident assertive charming impressive all that stuff the other part is you might become complacent or arrogant, isn't it? By the way, the word complacence in itself is a, I would say, <clears throat> logically speaking, it's a very bad term because when you feel good about yourself, you tend to become complacent. Okay, so you will say, okay, this is what needs to be done nothing much should be done clear so that is why it's not completely important is it very important not really it is moderately important why because feeling good about yourself should be balanced because it has got both the negative and the positive outcomes is that clear the negative and positive outcomes are equal in this case. That is why it has to be balanced from one to five. It should be at the most balanced position. That is position number three. Okay. 
जो अच्छे पार्ट्स होंगे वो आप कर लोगे अगर कोई बुरे पार्ट्स होंगे तो वो रुक जाएंगे इज दैट कूल अंडरस्टूड दिस इज थ्री थ्री वाला भी पहला आ गया ओके सो आई थिंक यू गाइज नो वॉट योर होमवर्क इज नाउ लेट इज मूव टू द नेक्स्ट सेक्शन विच इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एंड वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बाय द वे ओनली साइकोज this is humorous <laughs> okay can feel psychometric test this is basically humorous you know i won't say isko hata dete hain theek hai this is humorous all right now by the way i i kept it here for the reason that i would i would i would like you to you know <clears throat> just discuss that have you watched this movie psycho Says would love to be one. Psycho by Alfred Hitchcock. So more than this quotation, this movie is important. All right. No offenses to anyone. Zaruri nahi ki jo fail karega psycho hi hoga. The reverse is not true. <laughs> But this movie, you you guys should should actually you know, <clears throat> watch this movie. American Psycho Christian Bale. That is, yeah, that is also a great movie. Now coming to um, story writing. Story writing. So what happens here? You will be given a few pictures. See. So I've given you a few pictures, and I would like all of you to watch these pictures for a minute or two. Look at these pictures, and I have named them one, two, three, four. Okay. So what has to be done? What has to be done over here? That looking at these pictures, automatically anything you see invokes some kind of memory or nostalgia. so you have to think of a story create a story by looking at these four pictures and you can use these pictures in any order that you want to it's not necessarily 1 2 3 4 4 you can rearrange them you can change the order is that clear understood so right now i know that making a story is very difficult it's in a practical life class but there are if you If you are preparing for my cat, so whenever my cat is there and you go to the story story writing section, you are preparing for that. So you can guys can just you know message me on cat set go the community that I should be sharing some pictures with you guys so that you can start practicing on story writing for my cat. Okay, people are watching me in, on YouTube. They can also join this uh, link cat set go. It's in the description. You can just put it out there that give us some pictures. We want to write stories on that. All right. ठीक है चलो तो ये वाला मैं आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन दैट टू यू सो आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू वॉट कर स्टोरी दैट आई रोट सो एंड हाउ टू राइट अ स्टोरी बाय द वे आई थिंक लॉट ऑफ पीपल नो दैट आई राइट बुक्स एम पब्लिश ऑथर एंड सो वॉट डू आई डू वॉट डू आई डू फॉर राइटिंग अ स्टोरी I just try to walk you through my way and see what happens when I look at these pictures. What happens to me? The first picture says cracker, cracker. जो था cracker ही था. It was cracker, isn't it? It was a cracker. But looking at cracker, what happens? What what comes to my mind? Festival, celebration, isn't it? The second one was man with one hand. देखो इसका एक हाथ टूटा हुआ है, कटा हुआ है. man with one hand he is hurt or stressed or discouraged right this man can be a literal man who has only one hand or probably it is nothing but a mental state okay there that's a nice that's a nice example third one says parenthood so when parenthood ki baat aati hai if you look at this picture It shows the good parenting. देखो बच्चे का हाथ पकड़ रखा है फादर ने यहां भी इनका वो हाथ टूटा हुआ है कटा हुआ है 
वॉलीबॉल देखते क्या दिमाग में आएगा प्ले और स्पोर्ट नाउ थिंग इज वेन आई हैव वेन आई वेन माई माइंड हैज कम टू दीज की वर्ड और दीज आइडियाज नाउ आई वॉन्ट टू ग्रेट स्टोरी ऑफ दैट is this exercise interesting creating a story out of the out of the pictures yes or no i hope <clears throat> this invoking some kind of memories yeah to so, hua kya ab dekho aap soch sakte ho ki cracker tha kuch festival mein kuch ghatna hui inka heart toot gaya kat gaya but volleyball se connect kaise kare that is the most most difficult thing वॉलीबॉल से कैसे करें इसको कनेक्ट सो अगेन लुक एट दीज इमेजेस नाउ आई एम जीरो डाउन टू द एग्जैक्ट नाउ माई माइंड इज मेकिंग स्टोरी नाउ आई एम जीरो डाउन टू द एग्जैक्ट की वर्ड थ्रू विच आई एम गोइंग मेक अ स्टोरी फेस्टिवल आई हेव चोजन दिवाली द पर्सन इज डिस्करेज सी ही इज यू नो हिज बैक इज बेंट एंड गुड पेरेंटिंग प्ले ओके ठीक है चलो आगे बढ़ते हैं so i use picture 2 to be my first picture that is i'm going to start the story mr verma always felt weighed down weighed down to jo dikhaya gaya hai usko words mein mention kar diya weighed down because he was unable to do a lot of things which people with both hands could do clear i have not read the full story i'm just giving the prompt so <clears throat> on this youtube section you can you know come complete this story with a lot of beautiful you know words and everything okay fine coming to next one what happens then picture four one morning while walking on a beach he saw a group of friends playing volleyball playing volleyball this throw him to the saddest memory of his childhood what is going to happen next anyone what's going to happen next Picture one. During his sixth Diwali, that means he was six years old, he misinterpreted a cracker with a ball and picked it up in his hands. His parents, you know, they spending the. The parents were busy in celebrations. A moment later, the cracker burst and he got severely injured. He got severely injured. I've given you just the prompts. You guys will make the story, right? Look. ये क्यों किया गुड पेरेंटिंग की बात थी तो यहां मैंने ये भी कर दिया ऑफ कोर्स द पेरेंट्स वर नॉट रेस्पॉन्सिबल बट वेन बैड थिंग्स हैपन देन वी एक्चुअली स्टार्ट थिंकिंग अबाउट ऑल दी अदर थिंग्स इज एन इट ही गॉट सीवियरली इन जज टूडे मिस्टर वर्मा इज वेरी कॉशियस अबाउट हिज ओन केयर्स एंड टेक्स अट मोस्ट केयर ऑफ देम ओके सर देर आर प्रॉम्प इनफ प्रॉम टू क्रिएट एन एंटायर स्टोरी एज ऑन नो So, who is going to promise me that you create this way and post it there? Is that a promise? Naman, Vishal, Ankur, Satyam, Shubham, Adarsh, everyone. So this story has. see how to write a good story what does a good story con consist of the story touched upon all the aspects of a good story and also gives a message isn't it so the aspect of a good story is invoking nostalgia it should be relatable so you must have there are some movies which you love a lot for example three idiots others you can take metaphor as well image can be metaphor as well but try to take the literal image because that is not going to confuse anyone okay others three idiots is uh, you know it it looks good why because all of us have gone through some of those stages so it invokes a lot of memories the memories about um, uh, teenage romance 
The memory is about a group of friends. All these movies look very fine to us. Why? Because we have some kind of nostalgia connected to it. Relatable hona chahiye. Aise nahi ki matlab kuch bhi ho raha hai ki aapne story banayi, wahan pe ek banda ud ke gaya, kisi ko maar diya. No, not that. It should be relatable because we are not going to create an entire science fiction. If a story ends at a moral lesson, then it is considered to be the best story, right? Which is which has happened here about good parenting, and all the people in this world like a story in which someone starts at zero and ends at one. The zero to one, this journey is the longest journey. Beat anything, beat a job, beat your B school selection. Beat your preparation that you have done throughout this year <clears throat> and the previous year. So you are trying to reach from zero to one. The moment you reach one, the next numbers two, three, four, they will form the quick succession. You know, it's like a logarithm. Oh, I have the habit of, you know, <clears throat> collating mathematics and philosophy. I don't know if it's a good habit or a bad habit, but you know. Zero to one. This is how the logarithmic curve looks like. From zero to one, it has to, it has to move from negative infinity, from negative infinity to zero on the y-axis, <laughs> right? So it's like logarithm. The journey of zero to one is the most, is the longest journey. Philosophically, mentally, or you know, in all these senses. So happy. Um, Join you. I will wish you happy, you know, my happiness, all the happiness, and also in the last stage that is there, that you guys are going to be in a good B school and become future managers. All the best to you. So a lot of journey has been crossed. Just have to reach here, and after that, the entire life is <coughs> sorted. So let us reach there, all of us. Shivam, post that story on the YouTube comment. I will just check it over there. Cool then. Here I would like to end the session. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And this zero to one, I think you understood it. So all the best to you. Good night. We'll meet again. Take care.